welcome to Amplified and Merry Christmas week. I just want to encourage you just to celebrate the season of love, the season of Jesus, the season of Christmas, the season of hope and peace. Yes, Rachel, you sound so ha-ha, so happy-go-lucky. Well, let me tell you something. I am blessed, and so are you. I just want to tell you that. You got to know you're blessed. You have to know you're blessed. You and I woke up today. That's something to be happy about and blessed about. You know, this uh, segment today, I'm going to kind of just touch on something that everybody always talks about. Talks about, you know, what is Christmas really about? Well, everybody knows it's the birth of Jesus. Yes. Everybody knows it's about giving gifts and presents, but that's not the only thing that it's about. So right now, go ahead and tell somebody, get on there. Don't forget, you got the Amplified uh, show coming on. Jump on there quickly. So go ahead and do it. Go ahead and tell people, tell them, tell them, tell them. I enjoy that you do that. I, I love to hear that you guys are doing that, sharing a program with others. Because you know what? We learn together. We grow together. We learn together, right? That's really awesome that you're doing that. And so get a paper and a pen. I hope you've got yourself a nice little notebook and you've been keeping track of all of our notes for the last couple of months. And as we continue to go on, and we're going to go into the 2023, did I just say that, 2023? We're going to be going into that also, learning even more about how we navigate our mouths and our tongues and speaking words of power into our own lives. So let's go on. Today, the topic, what do you think? A gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, that sounds kind of cliche-ish, doesn't it, Rachel? Huh? But you know what? There is a gift that keeps on giving. And we're going to talk about that today. Are you ready? And I bet you some of you started thinking, I wonder what I'm going to get for Christmas, right? Hey, stop being selfish. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> Let's go to Luke 6, 38. It's a scripture that you, those of you that are in church have probably heard it many times. Those of you that have not heard it in church or because you're not attending a church regularly, so you may not have heard it. I'm going to share it with you. And then we're going to talk about it a little bit. Luke 6, 38, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down shaking together and running over it will be poured into you for with whatever measure you use it will be measured unto you well that's pretty self-explanatory god wants us to give and i'm not talking about that so that you can give people money and gifts that's not the point of this of this show the point of it is to check your heart what's your heart saying what's your heart doing what's your heart thinking when i said that was it thinking like, oh, here she goes again. She's going to talk about money. If that's what you were thinking, wow, you really need the show because that's not what it was about. You have to understand that we have to understand that we have a gift. That is not only is the gift in our mouth to share, but we have the gift to share Jesus. Jesus, he's the gift that keeps on giving. That's what I'm talking about. Those of you that knew where I was going, thank you for being on the, on the train with me. That's exactly where I was going. Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. He's the only gift that keeps on giving. So let's go on. You know, it's, it's the time of the year when many of you guys start going shopping and you can start going for the right gifts. You know, you start going from store to store to store, sale, sale, sale. You know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and you stand for hours in the store. You're not going to get me doing that, by the way. So stand for hours in the store and, and whatever you do, you, you, you stop the thing. You, 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 have, you stop. You got, what am I doing? Who am I buying for? What am I? It happens. It happens. I'm telling you. You know, and whatever you do, you, you, you know, uh, you want to decide who you're going to give what to, how much you're going to spend for the person. You know, my question, what's in your heart when you think about those things? First of all, Jesus, he, like I said, he's the gift that keeps on giving. He gives us everything. He gives us life. He gives us joy. He gives us our heart, he gives us our voice. He gives us our strength. He gives us our feet, our hands. Do you realize that? Those of you that have children, he's giving you your children. Come on. Those of you that have parents. You have parents. Come on. Those of you that have fur, fur babies, animals, come on. He's given you your pets. He's given you all those things. He gives, always gives because he loves. When you love someone, you give. Did you know that? When you love somebody, you give. Check your heart. Are you a giver or you taker? You always want, 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 want. If you're that want, 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 uh, you might want to check your heart a little bit. You might want to check heart. Heart check time. Check your heart. Because God is not that. God is love. He gives. God is God. If you want to be a part of who Jesus is, if you want to grow in God and get to know him and get to and get to just understand who he is. I mean, we're never going to know all who he is, but I'm telling you, he is love. He is joy. He is the gift that keeps on giving. You know, uh, so we're just talking about this. Some of you that like to give, love you, the share of your time. You might be saying, but Rachel, I don't have money. You know what? It's not about giving money. Some of us have time. Some of us has talents. You have talent. You can sing. 
You can mow a lawn. You can bake a cookie. That's, that's giving. Giving of your service, serving somebody, helping to, to, to serve dinner, helping to wash a dish. Come on, that's giving. Giving is not just about money. Come on guys, let's get real here. It's not just about money. Giving is about giving of yourself. Serving, giving. This is the season of giving. It's a season of giving to others. And as you use your words, your words of life, what are you giving others with your words? Are you sharing words of joy? Those of us that sing, those of you that are singers or like to sing in the choir, or like to go Christmas caroling, why do you think we sing Christmas carols? So we can share the joy of the season with others. Joy to the world, right? You know, you're singing songs one to another on the first day of Christmas. You know, you know what I mean? The songs, it, it just brings joy, makes you laugh. It makes you feel like you're having a good time with others. When you're sharing that voice, is that money? No, it's your gift. It's your talent. You're giving that. And it just brings much joy into you. Those of you that like to bake and you make cookies and you make cakes and you make pies and you make one for the neighbor or you make one for someone in a convalescent home or someone that you don't think would ever, you know, get a, a homemade cake or a pie. Use your gift and give it to someone. Make a cake, make a pie, but not for yourself. Share it with someone else. I'm telling you, begin to share the gift that God has given you because he's given you and I many gifts every single one of us perhaps you might be saying well I don't have a gift I don't have anything well let me tell you something you're wrong look around yourself you have a gift there's something that you have that's special that God gave you first of all he gave us all the mouth okay that's a gift it's a mouth what are we using what are we using our mouth for are we using to speak words of joy of laughter of love I say laughter because I, I love to laugh what are we doing with our voice? How are we spreading good news? Are you spreading good news? Or are you spreading bad news? Or are you spreading stressful news? Are you spreading fear? It's important that we understand that we got to speak words of life. So those of us that like to give, that's awesome. But now let me talk to the Scrooge. There's a couple of Scrooges. Yeah, I'll be honest. Are you that a Scrooge? That's stingy. Just so stingy that you want to get all the gifts and and, and you don't want to think about giving to anyone else? Well, that's not who Jesus is. That's never the character of Jesus. Jesus was always one who gave. He gave to others. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 says, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. There's been times in my life, you know, a long time ago or even, you know, recent, there's times when I have done some sowing of some things and I said Lord I'm just gonna do this just because I have to I'm being obedient to you and then I forgot all about it <laughs> I didn't think about it. I forgot all about it just to years later just to all of a sudden something comes back to me in a, in, a, in a way where I'm like where did that come from and the Lord reminds me do you remember that you sowed that before you remember you gave this before remember you did this before I'm like oh that was a long time ago God doesn't forgive what you forget what you sow he doesn't forget any seed that you plant in someone else's heart and life. He doesn't forget the things that you do for others. He doesn't. Other people may forget it. We may forget. He doesn't. He always knows how to give good gifts. He always knows how to make things grow that we plant. That's how good God is. That's, he's good. Last week we talked about him being wonderful. That's how wonderful he is. And he gives us that peace. That peace that we want for the wonderful God that he is. For the gift that keeps on giving you see how i put all those three together it all comes together how we speak the word into our own lives and the greatest gift you know the most important thing think about first of all let me let me backtrack what is the most important thing that somebody ever gave you more the biggest or the most important gift that you ever received think about it was it a car was it money was it clothes i don't know think about something that you got that just made you so excited and so happy you were like oh my gosh i can't believe i got this or some of you that make a Christmas wish list or whatever, and then you open your present one day and on a Christmas and all of a sudden, wow, look, I got what I wanted. Was that you? Was that you? I'm sure, you know. And if that was never you and you did never got a gift, I want to say I'm sorry. And if you never got a gift and you felt like you were left out, I pray. I mean, I know it sounds funny, but I want to pray that, that this year that that doesn't happen. That this year 
that the love of God just fills your heart in life and you begin to see the love of God in you. That you begin to see God do something in your life that he never did before. But remember, if you want God to do something for you that, that he's never done before, then you need to do something for God that you've never done before. Just remember that. It's important. Sometimes we want, want, but we don't want to give, give. So it's important that you put out some things. You sow some seeds of time, of talent, and those of treasury, of treasury as well. It's important. But the most important thing, some people look at the price to think it's valuable. Some people look at a price tag. Oh, that's valuable. Yeah, and it can be. Yeah, if you're looking at a Lamborghini. Yeah, hello, it's valuable. Yeah, it's not 25 cents. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. If you want to look at something. And some people look at how big it is. And, and they think that, oh, yeah, that's valuable. But let me tell you, the greatest gift that was ever given to mankind, the greatest gift ever, was the very gift of Jesus. That God gave his son Jesus for you and for me. Everybody knows the scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. He loved. God is love. He loved so much that he gave. I'm going to stop right there. He loved so much that he gave. How much do you love? When you love, you give. When you love, you're going to give the best of who you are. When you love, you're going to give the best words out of your mouth that you can. You're going to encourage someone. You're going to lift somebody up. You're going to give a cheer to someone. You're going to say, hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, how are you doing? You're going to give a phone call to somebody that, that comes to mind and just going to say, hey, I'm just thinking about you. Hi, what's going on? You're going to text somebody to say, hey, thinking of you. Merry Christmas. Or just thinking about you. How are you doing? You know, you know those people that are by themselves. Give them a call. Give of your time. Give of your resources in your mouth. Give of the words that come out. Speak words of joy. Speak and sing words of truth to God. And that's really, really important that we remember God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right. Everlasting life. I don't know about you, but I want that life everlasting. Christmas is the time, time to celebrate not only the birth of Jesus, but the time to reflect on how he saved your life and the lives of others. Think about that. When you start to think about that gift that keeps on giving, you can't help but speak words of how awesome and wonderful that he is in your life. There's so many that perhaps didn't make the Christmas reunion this year, but where were they spent eternity? Think about it. There's choices that we all make in life. You have a choice. I have a choice to speak words of life. You have a choice. I have a word to encourage someone else. Take the time out of your busy holiday to give somebody the gift of hope, to give somebody words of, of encouragement, to give somebody words of joy, joyful words to somebody. Tell them that you care about them. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you, you're happy for them. You tell them that you encourage them. Tell them that you're praying for them. Giving is an overflowing of love. And I want to encourage you. Strive to show the love of God by giving of yourself, of what you do. Don't let Christmas come and go and not changing. Make sure that you change something about your, your season this year. Don't do things the same way you've always done them. Include a different gift. The gift of love to someone else. To someone else that maybe you per perhaps don't know. Maybe perhaps have ignored. It's time for you to speak words of life to someone else. If you haven't forgiven, make sure you forgive. That's important. Make sure you forgive. You know, it's really, really important to think about the things that God has done in your life, in my life. And forgive, please. If anything, forgive. Because you and I can't move forward anywhere in life without forgiveness. If you offended somebody, somebody offended you, somebody called you a name, something happened, what did you say back? What did you say? You know, I'm, I'm serious. What did you say? Once again, when you say something, it's hard to take it back. You can't take it back, really. But what you can do is you can start to speak words of life. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Those are things you can say. You and I can say those things. I want to encourage you as we know that the gift that keeps on giving is Jesus. I want to encourage you to latch on to the words of God that are in his word, in your mouth, and hand them out and send them out and share them with others. Begin to thank him right there where you are. Thank him for this great gift that keeps on giving. It keeps giving peace. It keeps giving strength. It keeps giving love. And it never stops. It never stops. It keeps going. That gift keeps going and going and going. The love, the joy, the peace, the strength, the hope, all of that keeps coming. He does not withhold any good thing. Psalms 84, 11. No good thing does he withhold from those 
His word is unchangeable. Remember that. Unmovable, sharper than any two-edged sword. And I want to encourage you to speak words of life. I want to encourage you to know that he is the gift that keeps on giving. This Christmas, I want to encourage you to share words of life, joy, and peace with the world and with others around you. I want you to have a Merry Christmas. I know that we're praying for you and we thank you for joining us. And until next time, if you know somebody that wants to be amped up, have them join us in Amplified. Thank you for watching where we make God larger, greater, louder, and more powerful in our lives. Merry Christmas to you and your family.